Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrisley Cranston for the ones who don't know me. Welcome to my channel. All right guys. Today is Friday and it's early in the morning. It's like uh, let me see 6:30. And I thought I will show you guys what I will be doing today. As you guys know, may know or don't know, Bonaire is on lockdown and we are obligated to work at home. So I thought I will show you guys what I will be doing today. Uh, working at home on a Friday, lockdown, what I will be cooking or doing. And yeah, I think it's gonna be an interesting day. So let's get started. So the first thing I will be doing is drink some water, gotta hydrate after dehydration the whole night. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a lemon to add to my water and after that, I will be training. First thing in the morning, fasted, so the body burns the fat faster. So let's get started. I will be cutting my lemon. Ah, I will be training in my living room, so wait for it. So, I am going to do fasted cardio. I will be training for 30 minutes so I can get the blood flow going, burning some calories. I'm gonna do high intensity, guys. You got to burn those fat. I will be doing 10 minutes of high intensity um, interval training. I will be running a minute and resting a minute and after that I will be doing incline I will start with inclining 10 minutes again and after that 10 minutes of low intensity it's gonna be great okay so high intensity medium and low intensity let's get started All right, guys, so I am done with my 10 minutes high intensity. Now I am going to do the incline. And what I will be doing is, after two minutes, I will increase the incline till I reach the highest level. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see, but 30 minutes going. Alright, alright, alright. I am done. I am not that sweaty because I don't sweat that much. A bit, a bit, a little bit, just a little bit. But, yeah. Oh my god, I am happy. I am done with training. And now it's uh, almost 7.30, so I'm gonna take a shower, make my coffee so I can start to work. Now I am fresh and ready to start the day. Let's make some coffee. I'm gonna froth my milk. It doesn't froth that good. I am a bit disappointed, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it will also warm the, the milk, so that's nice. Let me show you. Guys. Today, the frother worked. It is frothed. So foamy. <gasps> I cannot wait to get that first sip. You know the first sip you take of coffee? There's nothing better than that. I am excited. Am I the only one that gets excited to drink coffee? Are you also a coffee addict? I'm not an addict, but I am a coffee lover though. Tell me in the comments, do you love coffee and what is your favorite coffee? Tell me. Oh yeah. Okay guys, it's 8 o'clock and I am ready to work. Okay, so the first thing I always do is check my emails. Check my emails and see if I have urgent tasks or things to do or email I have to send right away. I will do that ASAP 
after I check my emails, I always make a to-do list. I always work with to-do list, normally with a weekly to-do list. On the day I am working, I will be also making a short to-do list for that day. I will be working on a campaign. I will not tell you more about that. Maybe you will see it in the near future because we are launching something fun. I will also be working on social media, create content to post. I always work with weekly or two week, two week schedule. So my work can be a bit easier. So I don't have to think, oh my God, uh, today I have to post something. I will also begin with the monthly newsletter. Okay, so every month we send a newsletter to let stakeholders, partners, or uh, any subscribers, let them know what we have done that month. So yeah, so today I will be working on those three things. And yeah, let's get started. It's gonna be a fun work day. I am still working on social media. It's it's been an hour and I've been collecting a lot of images uh, from other accounts, so user-generated content, so I have content to post. When I'm done with social media, I will take a break and go walk in the garden and I will let you guys see our visitors. Even though we are on lockdown and we cannot have visitors, we do have visitors. I will show you guys in a few. So normally we have a lot of visitors coming to feed here on our... Oh, that is why poor babies. I'm gonna fill these with sugar and you will see how of a party will be here. As you can see, there's a few kupiyan in the back. They are waiting for the sugar. They are friendly guys. I don't think they are afraid of us anymore. Okay guys, I'm gonna let the camera here for a few minutes so you guys can see how the party begins. Look, they already came. The trupial is already here. So beautiful. That was cute, right? That was really cute, right? I really like to see them enjoying the sugar. I don't know if it's if it's good for them though. But yeah, there's always a party here in the backyard. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a little break to eat something. Well, technically drink something because this is gonna be my first meal of the day. I'm gonna make a smoothie, the fast smoothie. And it contains mango, blueberries, spinach, a bit of avocado, yogurt, and coconut milk. This is just to fill my belly for a few, for an hour maybe, so I can concentrate a bit more. And after that, I will be cooking some delicious local milk. Looking great already. Yeah, it looks amazing. Oh yeah, so creamy. The taste is so amazing. Gonna enjoy this morning and talk to you guys a bit. Guys, today I show you one thing I don't actually do every morning. Training. Training. I've been lacking, I've been slacking. I haven't trained for like almost two months or something. I don't know. It's a lot of a lot of days, a lot of weeks, a lot of months. So yeah, when I was living in the Netherlands, oh my God, I was a gym fanatic. I always cared about how my training went, how I am eating, 
this is how my nutrition is and if I'm in a calorie deficit or I am eating the correct calories I was counting calories I was moving more but then when I moved back to Bonaire hmm, yeah girl gains six six kilograms six kilograms sometimes it's between six five four or seven the, the, the weight fluctuates but it really depends on how I've eaten, if I trained, or of period, or anything. But, guys, on Bonaire, I am not moving. If I'm not training, I am not moving. Because when I was living in the Netherlands, I used to bike a lot, walk a lot, go to the gym, go shopping, walk around. But here, the only thing I do is wake up, go to, uh, go to work, sit there, eight hours straight, come home, eat, lay on the bed, lay on the couch, watch Netflix, and don't train. I will. I always move in the car, I don't have a bike, I don't walk, barely. So my activity level is so low that I, that is the reason why I actually am gaining. Because I eat healthy, I don't eat junk food that much. Only sometimes I have my cheat days or sometimes I snack in between but honestly I need to move more so for that reason I bought the treadmill then again the treadmill was sitting there dusting up and I was not using it but now I've realized I need to start training again even if it's just cardio or body weights I have a few weights in the backyard but I barely use them but I'm gonna start using them and I'm gonna challenge myself to be healthy here again be I'm healthy but be fit be fit again be more active because I need that I really need that I've seen myself get thicker I know I know I'm getting thicker but it's because I'm not moving so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna challenge myself and hopefully we can lose those pounds, those kilos, those fat. I really want to lose fat. I don't really want to lose my muscles, of course not. Let me drink my smoothie. <sighs> Delicious. Health. This is health. <laughs> okay. Enough ranting. I'm done with social media now. Now I'm going to prepare for my next, next task is a monthly newsletter. So I'm gonna sc scrap the social media because I'm done with that. Later, I'm gonna continue with the campaign I'm working on. So yeah, a productive day and healthy day. Hopefully it doesn't end unhealthy. Because normally, hmm, at the end of the day, we like to drink some wine. So I challenge myself to lower my wine intake and increase my water and smoothie intake. You know, health, it's all about health, it's all about health. Okay, enough. Okay, so now I am working in the kitchen actually, at the bar, at the kitchen. But sometimes I work in my bathroom or on the couch. It depends how I am feeling. Now I'm feeling to work like in this area of the house. Okay guys, I am back in the kitchen and it's time to cook. Okay, listen. Yesterday, Dad went fishing and he caught a big wow, ulatu. And we have a lot of meat right now, so I am so excited because I can make some mulatu kututu. Mm -hmm. For the ones who don't know what tutu is, you will see in a bit. I'm gonna make it from scratch and I will prepare a delicious sauce de criollo. Mesa, sauce de criollo pepisca. This is actually my all-time favorite criollo meal. So you will see how I make it. These are the ingredients I will be using for the tutu and as you can see we got some black eyed peas here 
and I have I've let them soak overnight and yeah they have expanded a bit but now I'm gonna cook them uh, for an hour so they get more soft now that the beans are boiling I will start to make the sauce and the side dish for the side dish I'm gonna you I'm gonna make concomber de uh, cucumber sour cucumber pickled cucumber sour cucumber something like that concomber de I already made a batch two days ago I think and I have a few more left, so I'm gonna add that to the water. I make the water with apple cider vinegar because I did not have the normal vinegar, the neutral one. But it tastes good. Sugar, water, apple cider vinegar. That's it. Now I'm gonna let it sit in this water to soak up. Now the sauce is looking kind of saucy. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to it too so I can get more watery. Because I didn't add the tomato, so now it's not that saucy. Gonna add the bouillon in, ketchup. Oh, okay. Okay, so now it's time for the tuktu. The beans are ready and soft. Now I'm gonna heat up a bit of uh, water. We'll be adding 300 milliliters of coconut milk. 400 grams of corn flour. I'm gonna be using the white corn flour. I'm gonna be adding it slowly to the milk and water. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of unsalted butter and sugar. And just a little bit of nutmeg. And now for the fun part, add the beans to it. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this to the bigger one because it's too small. This is a lot of work. <laughs> oh God, though. All right, guys, the tutu is ready, and now I'm gonna transfer it to the plate. But first, I'm gonna wet the plate a bit so it doesn't get stuck. Just like that. I'm gonna spread it evenly before putting the other plate on it. All right, and now press it a bit so it can get evenly. And while it's resting, I will be cooking the fish. Okay, we got some fresh wow here that Darren cut yesterday. So it's gonna be as simple as this. Pepper. Salt. And lemon. And the food is served! Voila! Piscaco tutu and veggies! Alright guys, you know after eating you are feeling a bit lazy. So this is the time of the day. We are resting just for a few minutes and after that I will continue to work. And baby, how was the food? Awesome. I needed it. Yeah. I was about to pass out. Okay. It was good, but the tutu was not how I expected it to be. 
I don't make tutu a lot, so this was my third time making it, I think. It's not the best, but I'm gonna improve the recipe. So now I am sitting cozy on my couch and working. I'm gonna continue. I've been working already for a while now. I'm gonna finish up and then we will do something fun maybe. We'll see. It's Friday night, so almost Friday night. The time. It's Friday night and Saturday, Sunday, God. Let's see what Babe is doing. Can you see the creature in the jungle? Can you see him? Can you see him? <laughs> Here is my gardener watering the plants. That waters, man. It's Friday night. Okay guys, the weekend is officially on. Oh my god, we have some Loras going on there. Some Loras. Loras, some yellow shoulder parrot. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see them, but they are so pretty. Okay, so now we are sitting here in the porch. Adam is making a birdhouse. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I will just sit here and watch him for a few minutes. It's Friday, what should I do? And, and it's lockdown. We have lockdown here. So, what should I do? Oh my god, guys. My manager just brought me this cute um, package. Chocolate. And we have some fresh mint and ginger to take care of the body. So, so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I just got a brilliant idea. This is actually supposed to be about health, but I can make mojitos. I'm gonna make mojitos just with some of them. The rest I will use for tea and water. I am going to make a passion fruit mojito. I have some passion, frozen passion fruit, so hopefully it works out and tastes great. And this is mine in a glass cruising around downtown Bonaire, around the boulevard. Stuck yeah. in traffic. Yeah, but I don't mind it. Look at him eating. He's the only one who ordered food and then. I ate from him. Almost half. No, at all. Not at all. Okay, so we just went to Zunkong to especially buy some ice cream, some vegan ice cream. And I got some vegan Halo Top that is low in calories. So, yeah, this is how our Friday is going. It's almost. It's, Almost 8 o'clock. Time for bed. <laughs> Almost time for bed. Because lately we are. Actually, Darren is sleeping early. And I'm not. So I'm st I still have energy. So I'm gonna chill and watch Netflix for a bit. Oh, that sorry. will be it for today, I guess. It's not that interesting now. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna close it up here. Baby, you wanna close it up with me? Peace out, guys. And that, Until next time. That's it for today, friends. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And see you in my next video. Bye.